everyone. Thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. This video is still part of the series of videos and posting strategy to help people help because the athlete has to take the civil service exam. The only difference is that this is an explainer video for a question I posted on my Facebook page, www.facebook.com slash team daiga. So what I try to do every day is to, to post a set of questions or a question um, related to civil service exam or aptitude tests, and then I challenge everyone that is a page to answer it. And if I notice na parang marami ang nagkakamali dun sa question na I posted, I try my best to make an explainer video about it. Now, this is a, uh, something I posted last week. And I noticed na yun nga, marami ang nagkakamali dito. And in fact, one of the questions here was part of the previous exams, the civil service exam, or ganong klaseng question at the very least. So, ang gagawin natin today is i-break down natin ito. It's related to our series on percentages. I already posted a few videos about that. You can click deep sa taas to catch up and watch all of those things. But today, I'm going to show you lang kung paano isasolve itong mga ito. So, explainer, ibig sabihin, explain ko kung paano niyo makukuha yung tamang sagot. Okay? So, first question. Sabi, what is 22% of 280? Now, I've uh, talked about this in an earlier video. Now, there is a, an easier way for you to answer percentage questions. If you attended one of the review events, probably alam nyo na rin ito. Pero if you, you don't know it yet, basically, ang suggestion ko is instead of multiplying this, kasi uh, ang traditional method niyan is you change the word off to multiplication. So, magiging 22% or 22%, ang ibig na percent, may dalawang zero, ibig sabihin gagalaw ka ng dalawang dot. I decimal mo na nandito kasi 22.0 you move mo siyang dalawang beses to your left. So, that is 1, 2. Now, the best way for you to remember that, para maging, kasi magiging pa yung siya, is if you look at the symbol percent itself. For example, 22, you have percent. Or, kung isusulat mo yan, if you're just writing it, it's like that. Ngayon, ilang decimal point ang igagala mo? You have 1, 2. So, 2 decimal places. And then, saan ka magsisimula? Nakaturo siya doon. Okay? So, from here, you start here, you move 1, 2. And then, you will get to 0 0.22. That is, again, if naguguluhan kayo sa inyong mga decimals. So, a traditional method is, pag nag-convert mo na siya, you have 0 0.22 times 280. And then, you're going to multiply that. So, 280 times 0 0.92. But the thing is, again, a suggestion ko, if you're not uh, that good at multiplying, or medyo mahirap na kayo sa carry-carry like me, kasi ayoko nang nagka-carry kasi usually I forget a few things na ako nagkakamali kasi I, I tend to be careless at times so ang ginagawa ko na lang and para rin makapag-mental math kayo is you just break down yung 22% yung 22% can be summed up as you have 10 10 and 2 so 10, 10 and 2, bakit? kasi 10 plus 10 plus 2 is equal to 22. Pareho lang yan, di ba? 22. Uh, bakit ko yun ginagawa? Kasi pagdating sa percentages, may mga tricks tayo in order for you to get certain percentages. Sa 10, ang trick natin is you just move it one decimal point. So, ang 280 mo, mag-move ka lang one time to your left, you will, it will give you 28. Kung ano man yan, yan yung magiging 10% natin. So, ibig sabihin, itong 10% na yan, that is 28. Dahil meron ka pang isang 10, you have another 28. And then, you have yung 2%. Now, the 2%, you have a number of things that you can do. May options kayo kung anong gagawin nyo dyan. You can either divide this by 5. Kasi ang 10 divided by 2 is still 5. Or, 1%. You can stick with 1%. Ang 1% natin is... Mumove mo lang yung lean decimal point ng isang beses. So, ang 1% is 2.8. That is 1%. So, ibig sabihin, 2, 28, 28, 2.8, and 2.8. And then, you just add this all together. So, you have 0. 0.16, you have 8, 16, 21, and then you have 61.6. Okay, saan so, na siya nakuha? Again, 10% plus 10% plus 2%. Okay? So, I'm just scrolling down to see kung ano yung mga uh, kung nakuha ba ng maraming tao yung uh, tamang sagot dito. Ayan. So, most people naman got the first question correct. 61.6. 6. Okay? So, we have Annaline Sheryl, 
Uh, we have Alice na nagpakita pa ng magandang solution. So, ayan, yung mga ganyan, you can follow along. That's the beauty of being an online community kasi makakita kayo ng mga solution na iba-ibang iba-ibang mga tao from all over the country, all over the world sometimes kasi may mga students from Hong Kong, from UAE, from KSA, from even from London to the States, marami tayo dyan. So, you can go and check out their solutions as well. So, 61.6 is the correct answer. Most of you got it right. Move on na tayo sa kasunod. Next question is, what is 85% of 280? Again, following yung process, you can do it na 0. 85 times 280, or you can do it na ang 85% is equal to 50%, right? And then you have 25%, and then you have 10%. Bakit? Kasi 50 plus 28 plus, uh, 50 plus 25 plus 10 is equal to 85. So, 85 pa rin ang sagot. So, ano gagawin natin dyan? Yung 10% na kuha natin kanina, again, it's just moving the decimal point one time, so that is 28 Yung 50% naman, madali rin yan i-mental. Kasi ang 50% means kalahate. 50% is equal to 1 half. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Yung kalahati ng 280, which is 280 divided by 2, I'm just writing this down for visual reference. Pero pag master nyo na yung technique, alam nyo na agad ka, ang kalahati ng 280 is 140. So, ibig sabihin ang 50% ay 140. Ngayon, bakit madali compute yung 25? Kasi... Ang dalawang 25, di ba? 25 times 2 is equal to 50. Ibig sabihin, dalawang 25 is equal to 20. Ibig sabihin, ang 25 ay equal sa 50 divided by 2, right? Ibig sabihin, kung hahatiin natin yung 50, lalabas yung 25%. So, ang 50% mo is 140. Kalahati niyan is 70. That is our 25%. So, what do we do? We just add them all together. We just put them all together. Wala ka nang kailangan i-math or i-add ng matagal. You just add them together. You can put 140 and 70, that's 210. And then you have 28, 238. Now, this is just, a non, just, this is just one option. Some people would do 50 plus 10 plus 10 plus 10 plus 5. Okay? Pwede rin yun. It doesn't matter really as long as makakarating kayo sa sa parehong sagot. Kasi kahit saan tayo dumaan, it should still be 238. Again, most of you got it right pa rin. So, hindi na natin masyadong, hindi na tayo masyadong magdadal dito. But another alternative I could present would be this. Instead of adding this together, since ang 85% is 100 minus 15, you can also solve it na 280 minus the 10%, which is 28, minus 5%, kasi meron ka pang, ang 15 is 10 plus 5, so minus 10 percent minus isa pang 5% or kalahati ng 10 so minus 14 and still it will be equal to 238 pareho lang yan okay so again number of ways kung anong masadali sa inyo okay next sabi what is 45% of 280 again following our uh, rule you can do this na 25% plus 10% plus 10% or gawin natin yung kanina, which is 50% minus 5%. Kasi 50 minus 5 is 45. Now, pag ginawa natin 50, uh, 50 minus 5, 280, ang 50% niya ay 140 minus 5%. Again, ang 5%, you can do it na kalahati ng 10%. Now, ang 10%, sabi natin is 28. Kalahati niyan is 14. So, minus 14. Or, di ba ang 50 Compare mo siya sa 5, imove mo lang decimal point ng isang beses. So, if you notice, ganun din ang nangyari dito. Yung 140, minove lang natin decimal point ng isang beses, lumabas na yung 14. So, 140 minus 14 is going to give you 126. That's how fast it is. Again, if sanay na kayo dun sa technique, if sanay kayo magmanipulate ng numbers, basta mabuunin nyo yung number ng percentage, mas bibilis pa kayo doon. Pwede rin dito... Like we talked about kanina, kasi ang 25% is 70 plus uh, 28 plus 28, it will still give you 126. It doesn't matter. Ang importante, alam ninyo kung paano makukuha yung 45. Pwede nyo i-add lahat, pwede nyo i-minus sa pinakamalapit na malaki, kung saan kayo mas mabilis, mas maganda. Okay? Next. Ito. This is a bit trickier. What is 10% of 30 
uh, sorry, it's uh, what is 10% of 30% of 280. Typo lang ito, dapat percent yan. So, 10% times 30% times 280. Okay? Question mark yan. Okay? So, you have 10% which is 0.1 or 0.10 times 0 0.30 times 280. Again, you can do it like that. Or, pwede mo siyang i-group muna. Okay? Ano ibig sabihin nun? Pwede nyo kunin, kunin muna yung 30% ng 280. Tapos, tsaka mo kunin yung 10% nun. So, kung dito tayo magsisimula, dito ka muna sa 30% ng 280. Ang 30% ng 280 is tatlong 10. So, 10 plus 10 plus 10. So, you have 28 plus 28 plus 28 or 28 times 3 na lang. It's going to give you, A1634, so it's going to give you 84. Okay? Bakit 84? Kasi sa tatlong 28. You can also do it na 25 plus another 5%. Uh, which is going to give you kalahati ng kalahati, which is 25%. Yang 35% na yan, equal yan sa 70 plus 5%, which is kalahati ng 28. It's going to give you 14, 84 pa rin naman ang lalabas. Okay? Ayan, yung 84 na yan, ito na yon yung 30% ng 280. So, ang mga iiwan na lang is 0 0.10. So, 0 0.10 or 10% of 84. Again, ang sabi natin, ang 10%, Imove mo lang yung decimal point ng isang beses. It's bound to give you 8.4. The answer is 8.4. Really fast, okay? Instead of multiplying it twice. Ngayon. Again, very manageable pa tong question na to. Ang problema, etong huli. Dito na nagka-iba-iba ng sagot. May sagot na 70, may sagot na 7, may sagot na 0.7, may sagot na 0.07. So, obviously, merong disjoint doon. And even sa exam, uh, may mga iba-ibang opinion regarding this. But let me put an end to all of the talk about this question. I want you to be fully equipped pagdating sa exam. So, I hope that you listen really well dito sa explanation na ito. Okay? Ayun. Sabi natin, what is 12% of 50% of 280? Dito sa side na ito, wala tayong problema. Kasi yung times 0 0.5 times 280, nagkakasundo tayo dyan dito sa 1.5% na ganoon na problema. Now, i-break down natin yun. 1.5%. Most people, ang nilagay nila is 50%. Or, 0.5 uli. So, ang nangyari would be, multiply nila sa 0.5, multiply ulit nila sa isang 0.5. This is actually wrong. Bakit? Kasi ang 1.5% and 1.5, 1 1.5% 1 of and yung one half, per, one half of is very different. Ulitin ko ha. Yung one half percent of at saka one half of is very different. Kasi, ang one half of, yan yung 50% of. Yung one half of. Okay? Pero yung one half percent, ibig sabihin yan, isang kala, eh, kalahati ng isang percent. Ano ibig sabihin nun? This is actually 0.5% percent. Okay? Malaking difference. Again, ang one half percent is 0 0.5 percent. Ang one half of, yung walang percent dito is 50 percent of the number. Ano ibig sabihin nun? Dahil ang nakalagay ay one half percent, yung one half, which is 0 0.5, yun pa lang yung kakapitan mo ng percent. So, ibig sabihin, from 0 0.5, again, percent, wag mo move tayo ng decimal point, Ilang beses? Twice. To the left. So, you have 1, 2. Point zero zero 0.005. Bakit din? Why does it make sense? Kasi ang 1% is 0 0.01. Yan ang 1%, right? Kaya ang 10% is 0 0.10, 0 0.5. Pero yung 1.5% ay kalahati nitong 0 0.01. Dalawang 0 0.005 and the long point zero 0.05 will give you point zero 0.01. That is why ito ang one half percent. So, anong ibig sabihin nun? Ang tamang imumultiply mo dito is not point 0.5. It's going to have to be 0.05. 0, 0, 0, sorry, 0 0.005. Imumove mo pa siya ng 2 times. 1, 2, and add another 1. 
Okay? So, solve na natin. Again, you don't need to multiply this if you're familiar with your percentages. 50% of 280 is going to give you 140. Ito ang 50%. Hinahanap natin yung 0 0.05 nitong 50%, which is 140. Yung 140, imumultiply pa natin siya sa 1 half percent or imumultiply natin siya sa 0 0.005 or kunin natin yung 1%, which is going to be 1.4. Bakit? Kasi ang 140, ang 10% niya ay move it one step there. Yan ang 10%, which is 14. I'm sorry. Ang 1% is isa pang movement to the left. Pauli, isa. Yan ang 1%. Ang 1% natin is 1.4. Ngayon, ano ang kalahati daw ng isang percent? That is 0.7. Okay? So, the answer is actually going to be kalahati na 1.4 or 0.7. So, for those of you who answered 0.7, you did a great job. So, congratulations. Uh, let me look at the names of those who got it right. Uh, para lang may special mention naman. You have uh, Sheryl here. You have... Uh, sino pa? Sheryl... Uh... Ang daming nabiktima nun, yung iba ang sagot 70 kasi kinalahati lang nila yung 14. So, magingat kayo doon, hawag kayo magkakamali. Zulana, tama ka. Okay, si... Sino pa ba? Yung iba nang hula na lang. So, ngayon, alam nyo na kung ano yung gagawin ninyo. Magpo-post pa ako ng isa para makapractice kayo ulit. Edward, you got it right. Edward uh, Lessis, may solution din siya. Pinakita niya yung 0.005. You want to look at that. Again, you can go to the original post for this. Para makita ninyo yung mga solution nila. Francis also got it right. Francis Condalor. Okay. Ayan, marami nang makatama. So, you can look at that. Congratulations to those who got it right. Arlene. Um, sino pa? Sorry ha. Ini try ko i-mention lahat ng mga katama para may onting uh, encouragement. Kokoy. Makoy. Got it right. Mark got it right. Uh... Yun. Ang dami talaga na biktima nung 70 ha. Next time, mag-ingat kayo. Aliyo, very good. Okay, nag-change siya ng answer. Chris, tama na si Chris. Ayan. Okay, so congratulations to all of you got it, right? I'm going to post more of this type of question really soon, probably tomorrow, para makapag-practice kayo ulit. Hopefully, doon ma mas tama na kayo. And again, if you haven't seen all of the videos yet, make sure that you click on the links here. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, subscribe. Hit the bell then if you're watching this from YouTube para ma-notify kayo as soon as a new video posts. I'm making more. Nagbabawi lang, nagpapahinga at nagpapagaling. Thank you for your prayers. I'm feeling a bit better now. But uh, nagre-recover pa rin, nagpapahinga. So next week, I'm going to make even more content. For now, it's the one that experience videos. So I hope you learned something new today. If you did, click thumbs up. Share this with your friends na mag-exam din. And God bless sa inyong lahat. Adja, adja, hi, Nian. I'll see you on my next video.